Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is the first day that I am making a gameplay video of Monster Hunter World, and we're gonna teach you how to do a, a much quicker hunt with the monster's weaknesses by using its weapons. So we're gonna be doing this alone. As you can see, that basically I can't send an SOS flare because I don't. I'm not a PlayStation Plus, so basically I can't like. To use friends as help and that really sucks yeah anyways whenever this screen shows I like to use see the about the commissions and or that's worth and some monster characteristics if I go in expeditions or hunts in the locale places or different places but anyways we're gonna be doing a quick hunt and the first monster that we will be hunting in a quick hunt is Kulu Yaku now a lot of you basically defeated Kulu Yaku and that was pretty much easy but if you want to defeat Kulu Yaku quickly you can actually use the environment other monsters or Devil Joe. Devil Joe will basically kill Kuliaku if he has if his symbol on the map shows a skull, and then he will basically just kill him and you complete the quest. And also, if Devil Joe tries to kill you, make sure to shoot him with a dung pod. So, for Kuliaku, we this is the stuff we're gonna be using. So, if you got like this type of stuff, just just put it away. Yeah, just. just, just yeah, but whatever. We're just gonna put some stuff that is really necessary and stuff that we need that is important for this Kuluyaku hunt that we're going to be doing. So, you wanna make sure you got everything you need with you. We're gonna try and capture it, and it's really that simple. So, we're just gonna post a quest. We're gonna go on Master Rank, Optional Quest. Let's go to let's do this but in but we're gonna do it at the wild spiral waste so let's make sure you do an optional quest of kuluyaku being in the wild spiral waste and you can do the arena quest too but we're gonna do it some we're gonna do an arena quest if we fail the quest if we fail the quest that's okay i'm just trying to find kuluyaku and see if he's in the Wild Spire Waste. Um, come on. Uh, I can find him here. Um, I can't seem to find him. Okay, if you see a coolie, if you want to do a coolie akuma, and if you want to know what's in the wild spire list, look in this direction that you see right on the right, so that way you know where the monster is going to be in the exact locale. And as you can see, it says capture a coolie aku, but in the ancient forest, in which we're not going to. How about, what about this? Besides coolie aku, we're going to hunt coolie aku in the arena. With Tizitsiaku. I'm only just doing this just because I can't find a freaking quest of Kuliaku to hunt in the wild spire waste. And basically, I did this before and I won because basically I gotten better at playing this game. But you can change your armor if the armor is real, if the armor that you have is really easy to use against these two. They're just really not smart enough. They don't do anything cool yet. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. My mom just came in and I told her not to come in when I'm filming a YouTube video. Anyways, this is... Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot to change the weapon. So, I like to use the charge blade most because when I use the charge blade and monsters, it basically just gets more easier. So, we're gonna... 
go do this arena quest against Kuli on Ku and Tizitia Ku. As you can see, the quest is called Yaku with that. And we're actually playing an Iceborne, and I have to accept a quest called Ready to Strike, which I can't because it's basically too hard. So, as you see, bring the items that you need with you. I, I, as you can see, I don't have max potions, but make sure to do this at the canteen. Make sure to, like, eat at the canteen in case if you need to upgrade your full health, uh, health plus 50 and stamina plus 50. Make sure that the exact health. And we're gonna be cap, we're gonna be capturing, if the, f if the first monster died, then we're gonna capture the second one. So, Kuluyaku and Tizetiaku are basically the same, but they wouldn't work together. Because, prob I think it's because they come from different regions, I don't know. So, we're gonna use the large boulder trap. As you can see. Oh, oh no, it's, t it's too late, I gotta put on my ghillie mantle. Make sure, if you wanna use the boulder trap, you can put on your ghillie mantle. Now make sure you do it quickly. Yes, and if you want to add barrel bombs, which I do have, I have mega barrel bombs, make sure to do it in their weak point. Uh, as you can see, I only have one. Okay, now let's do this. We're gonna hunt Tizitiaku and Kuluyaku. If you wanna know which one's Tizitiaku, it's the blue one, and Kuluyaku is that one. Now, we're gonna use the Gutch Claw against Kuluyaku. Slam his face into the wall. Now, this actually isn't gonna be a quick hunt. I just, I just thought it would be a good idea to do this in Monster Hunter World. <laughs> you know what I mean? Now make sure you attack the monsters in their weak points. As you can see, Kuli Tizitsiaku actually is in rage, so that means he's angry. Kuliaku is basically doing nothing. So whoever is the last monster to die. Monster in rage, make sure to use the Gutch Claw so many times. Now both of them are in rage, as you can see. And if you only want and you can actually just let the monsters attack each other themselves if you want to during this hunt. So anyways, let's get on with the hunt. Kuleaku is down, so sometimes when I hunt one monster and another monster just shows, I just let those two fight to the death. Okay, so both of them are still in rage. Blocking, blocking. Shield. I gotta, I gotta block it. I gotta block him off. Crap, he hit me! I wasn't blocking! Okay, so if the monster is higher and you still have your weapon, you can use the Gutch Claw and then attack him easily. You, and if Tizitia Ku is doing a, his blinding attack, you can use your shield to block it out. If he keeps doing it, that's okay. You could just still attack him right where you want him to be attacked. So, if you want to do that move that I just did, just hold your shield button, the, sh the button where you can block, and then if you move up to the monster and press triangle, then you'll do it. As you can see, it didn't work because I was being stupid. So, don't worry about that. So, you can tell when a monster's in rage, because if you look in the map, right in the bottom left, you can tell that Kuluyaku is in rage because because of the way how his how his symbol is blinking red. I grabbed a Tizitsu Ku medal that gives me a wyvern tier. These both are bird wyverns and they're known to be very odd. Believe me, it's weird. I know. Hey no. Hey no, make sure to do this quick before you run out of 
stamina. And then you can use your slinger ammo to actually slam it onto the monster. As you see, my charge blade is doing a charge a charging war attack. Yeah, I bet. Now to now you Tizitzi a cool or coolia cool is about to die, so let me just... Okay, so Kuliaku is the one that's about to die because if you see on the map, it's showing a skull on his face. Now, Kuliaku's not in rage. Let's slam him into a wall. Now, you can tell when a monster is also getting weakened and slayed if you see right here where it says parts broken and Kuliaku slayed. So... If you want to just carve the monster in peace, I usually just blind the monster. That's basically... I basically don't care if I just do this. I just want to carve it. See, now Tizitiokul has blinded me and I've gotten very dizzy. Now my palco just helped me out. Dragonair can now be used. Dragonair is right over there. We're going to flip the switch on Tizitiokul later. Just carve Kuluyaku. My mom doesn't like this stuff because she does. She thinks it's not the right thing. Block. Block. Blah, 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 blah. I have to get to the Dragonator. Haha! Heart's broken. Okay, as you can see, it didn't work because you need to know if the monster is actually right in front of the blinding. See, now it didn't work again. So I'm gonna use the Thunderbug Cage. Let's see if you understand. And if you want to hear your health too, you can use first aid potions or mega potions, but I prefer mega potions if I'm on serious low health. Tzitzia is getting weaker because it's using more weaker moves. Um, see, I'm doing that because I've ran out of stamina, which is the yellow thing right next to the green health. by this just because I killed two monsters that are literally odd and weird. But anyway, that is the way of how you do a first hunt. Before I, I'm gonna end this video if I like, well, this is where I'm gonna end the video. So that's how you do a quick hunt. That's basically not a quick hunt. I had to do that in like, probably, this faints. I had I had zero faints because I didn't die because these two are really easy to beat and because they're really slow. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. My name is John. My name is Jonathan. Reminding you to eat before every hunt and take a good time and make sure you have a good hunt before hunting any monsters. I keep saying the word hunt, but anyways, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you later.